What's good, YouTube? We back with another episode of the Track Wolf Godcast. I'm your boy, Track Beats. Y'all know what time it is when we get into the most recent subjects and topics going on out here in the world today. We got a new special guest on the panel today, but I'm going to let my other co-host go ahead and introduce it's yourself. It's your boy, Savage, the producer. This that Savage shit. That's what's good. And now, on to my right, to the lovely lady we got over here with us today. You, you want to introduce yourself to the people? I'm Jasmine, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you want to tell the people a little something about yourself as far as like how you got into like your spiritual growth in the movements? Because, you know, some of us have seen you as far as like out in the public with some of the stuff going on with like the rallies and the things out here. Okay. Well... Initially, I just, it started when it, uh, the August 13th, when the KKK came to visit. And that's basically what took off because it was just like actually witnessing something that was just devastating, not only to the community, but you know, to to people's mentality. It, like, the, like, what happened that day was very big in Charlottesville. We're not even going to lie about that. That made news nationwide and because it was getting such a big outreach and knowing that I have I have brothers I've been stopped I've been harassed personally I've had friends who have been harassed and killed by police it's something that's very big when when it comes to when it comes to me my situation and my community you know so it's like gotta get out there gotta talk gotta educate my brothers and sisters on certain things because it's major so what actually gave you the strength and like the courage to actually go out there and like because you wasn't just out there like some people be at protests and they be out there with signs but then you have others who are actually in the forefront and being mm -hmm. vocal with the horns mm -hmm. and on the stage or up higher so that everyone can hear them and see them and what they have to say but what actually gave you the courage to get up there and talk in front of everybody my mother ain't raised no punk. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no but, but it's it's my kids. You know, like it, it's my kids. It's my it's my brothers. It's my father. You know, my my sister, my mother, who has you know been been vocal about it in in my home. So it's like if I'm able to get in front of you know like my family, my friends, and say, you know, correct certain things about, like, what amongst them, then I should be able to stand in front of my actually my actual community and the people who are wronging us and say that this is enough and this is how we feel about it because we clearly all agree. So has this been, like, something you've always done? Or was it, like, this last situation was, like, your last straw? Now I feel like it's time for me to kind of, like, start stepping up a little bit more. Well, yeah, it was kind of like, it's like, well, not even necessarily to say like, this is what gave it that final straw, but it was also just like, you put up or you shut up. And that's just how that goes. It's like, I'm so vocal when it comes to a lot of the situations that I don't like that are around me. Why wouldn't I be vocal about something that could help my daughter's, you know, future and help my, you know, future generations behind me? That's crazy. It's like, you you don't you don't hear about you don't make history being quiet you don't and it's like if you want to be that significant person in in people's eyes and in people's view that typically i i tend to be then i gotta go ahead and be vocal about that yeah that's a good point that's a really good point that's a really good point because that was a lot of chaos <laughs> going on i don't know if Facts. you know or not but it was it was crazy. It was crazy. You know, like just being there, like seeing seeing the people, see that the you know, like people getting knocked down like fucking like bowling pins. Like it was fucking insane. People yeah. just moving out the way. And so it's just like and then you got we're in the midst of facing people who truly hate us to its purest form. You know, so it's kind of like, why are we even letting these people in our town? Why are they? Why are they even able to say that you hate us without even knowing us when it wasn't even our option to be here? That was you. Yeah. True. So now you gotta shut up and just deal with what you gotta deal with and move the fuck on. You know, I'm holding this. <laughs> no, you good. But um, some people just like on a smaller scale, and like a side note. 
not everyone feels like they came off the boat. You know, because it was a lot of Absolutely, because there, there were people who were here. So, yes, and those are natives um, that you massacred. Yeah, <laughs> but really it was more of a manipulation, I feel like, than a massacre. Yes. Because, like, even when you get into, like, some of the more recent stories, which I would consider Nat Turner more recent because that's, like, almost our time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not too far off. But even with him, like, he was able to go hide within the natives. So Nat Turner looked like me. So to go hide with the natives, the natives had to look like me. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm just gonna keep it at that. I'm just saying. We, that's that's a whole different subject. Yeah. <laughs> that, that really is. That really we is. can get deep into that. <laughs> that's right. That really that's right. is. But on another note, what we actually was gonna discuss today, uh, our issue today was gonna be trust, and we was gonna start off by defining trust. But since a lovely guest has been doing such a great job discussing things with us, we're gonna let Savage start this one off for us as far as defining trust. Oh, defining trust. My definer trust is someone who how can I cannot word this right? Who you can depend on. And, and actually be there for you. Because mm. you can have people, you can have people you say you trust, but it's not the the trust you're looking for. Mm. So, hmm. You gotta break that one down now. Break that down? Yeah. So, all right, so you can say you, I, I, I can say I trust somebody, but how far, like, how far does that trust go? Mm-hmm. Like, do I trust them 100% where I can tell this person stuff, depend on this person if I need, really need something? Or is it trust where, like, I can just tell you some bullshit and let you run with it? And then you have people who think they trust them. You think you trust them, but the whole time they going back saying what you're telling them or something. Yeah. You could tell them a life some some tragic shit that you didn't want to get out thinking you can trust this person the whole time you can't trust them because they didn't told other people. Yeah. And then you got your full trust where it's like track. I can trust him on telling him shit or if it's something I know I can I need done. It's like bro, can I trust you with this? Mm. And it's it's, not, it's it doesn't even matter if they say yeah, because they can lie to you and say yeah. But it's the the energy from it, the the people, the persons, emotions, because that that's a, that emotions has a lot to deal with trust. Definitely. Um, I don't know. Trust. So you mean like the you're talking like dependability, dependability versus full trust? Yeah. Okay, understood. That makes sense. I can mm -hmm. understand that. So it's almost like um, when I hear you saying that, it's kind of like um, you need a person's kind of like actions to correlate with the feeling that you get from yeah. like when you contact them or whenever you communicate. You know what I'm saying? I don't, it could be by text message, phone call, in person, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know you getting both. Both. You getting the action and you getting the, the feeling like, oh, I feel like he gonna do it. And then he already showed me what the actions he gonna do it. So I feel like I could trust it. Like, yeah. You kind of. Yeah. So how would you define it? Would you? I mean, it would it would fall in my definition of trust is wholehearted. Like if I fully trust you, that means that I can depend on you. That means that I can call you when I need to call you. That means that I can tell you my business without, you know, you going to somebody else and saying something. That means that when I turn my back, you're not gonna bite me. You know, like yeah. it's like yeah, that's that that's that full that full blown trust. Like we we got that connection. We we know each other. Like I know for a fact you about to come through. You know I'm about to come through. Like that's just that's just how that goes. So, like, how do you feel about, like, our definitions 
with trust versus like the Webster's or Google's definition of trust? Do you feel yeah. like they like correlate with each other or they're like two completely opposites or do they like take a piece from it? I feel like they take I feel like it takes a piece, but then when we're when we're considering like other people's level of trust, it's completely different. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you you have like your textbook definition, like okay, one hundred percent dependability type situation, but there's way more to it. Like, can I can I trust you? You know, with my soul, because you got to take relationship into consideration. Like friendship, it's like. Oh, can I trust you with my secrets? Can I trust that you can be there? You know, like it's it's they're different. Like it's like it's a completely different world. So I don't know. Like they definitely they definitely merge if we're gonna talk about it. But it's so. Do you feel like the Webster or Google's version is like more broad and it's not really defined? Absolutely. Because what? Because <sighs> your definition comes from the individual that you are. And so it's like being that everyone is their own person. You cannot get like a specific definition of trust between whatever because it's like, and then you got you got levels of trust. You have people with levels, so it's just kind of like somebody or somebody is easily trustworthy. Like, oh, if you go to the store for me this day, I know for a fact that you're gonna go to the store for me next day. Little did I know you just ran off of my money. So I'm already trusting you and giving you that that type of, you know, communication and, and, you know, mindset without even really knowing the situation. And then you got more non-trustworthy per people who are like, all right, let me let me leave ten dollars out just to watch this nigga, you know, like, let me let me let me do something just to, you know, make sure because it's like now I have to test you. In your level of trust like I gotta I gotta make sure that you're trustworthy in order to fully trust you because my trust has been broken you know so so when I so, so when I'm listening to people talk like I'm always in tune but then it always sparks something else because I'm a creator I create on the spot so do you think trust is on a scale yeah okay because like I said there's different levels to it it's like it's okay all right, I'm gonna give you an example. Like, okay, I got friends, right? Some of my friends I'll tell my business to, but some of my friends I'm not gonna tell my business to. Not because I don't love them, not because we don't share a bond, but because I know for a fact that you can't hold water. So you trust so them I, at the lower part of the scale. Exactly. So it's just like, I'm gonna trust you with my car, you know, but I ain't gonna trust you with my secrets because that's a whole nother thing. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So, I think a lot of people get misconstrued with that because they be so in tune with like controlling or manipulating the situation. Mm -hmm. So they think that sometimes like, oh, I can't trust you if you don't do this for me when really you have your own agenda. Why are you trying to do something? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you're trying to make it seem like you can't trust me to do it because I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, no, it's, break that down. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's like when people like what's what's a, I'm trying to figure out the right way to formulate it. Okay. Because there's times and it's, it's like we were saying that it's on a scale. We know that we're looking at the trust level on a scale. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like... I could say, hey, run to the store for me. Take my car. I'm trusting you. Take my car to the store. Yeah. And then do what you got to do. But really, I'm not... It don't really have nothing to do with trust because I got other intentions. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So for the people that do think in that manner and can kind of exit off and be like well i'm trying to understand that part too like how did you get from point a to point b basically what i'm trying to say is it's a little form of manipulation and backwardsness in between everything because of the way we was taught 
So you see, even yeah. how we try to manipulate trust and we say, oh, it's on a scale from here to here. Nah, it should really be, I trust you wholeheartedly. I don't trust you. Yeah, but you yeah. can't do that. Yeah. You're like, that, trust is what, what, earned. No, like, you what, have to earn my trust. You what, know what I mean? No, what I'm saying is, it's because we were taught backwards. So we already That's taught true. not to trust people. But so then now we're we, also taught to manipulate. And since we're taught to manipulate people, we also so, know that we can't trust people. So it's just like... So that's what, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, <laughs> what the fuck do you do? <laughs> you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing but try to try to earn someone's trust. You can't do nothing but try not to, you know, break someone's trust. Yeah. But and, that's and not what people trust, think about. They, they really have to put in the effort of for me to trust you like that. Like, do you feel like when you was younger, it took as much? Or do I feel like no. after no. after no. when I no. was younger, younger was easier. Yep. Younger was way easier. Now as I got older, it was different. That's because you learn. Yeah. And then it's just like once you learn about the people around you, you can't trust. Them. You got to figure some, out who you can trust. But sometimes about. it's not even always the people because we are mm -hmm. watching TV. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's that's us true, that's too. learning the shit, and then we think it's the other people. And that's another thing I think that kind of messed up trust mm -hmm. was what TV, electronics, and social media and all that shit started really rolling in. Yeah. yeah. Because I like growing up, I, I pay attention to everything, like I, I observe everything. So like growing up, I seen how trust and anything, trust in people. Mm -hmm. Then, or just trust period change yeah. dramatic, drastically from us just having TV. We had music, but it's like we really wanted in tune, but we was in tune. Yeah. yeah. Then we had TV, and then that's when cell phones started coming mm -hmm. out. And then boom, we had what, what sparked it off for us MySpace. That started. Oh, that was it. <laughs> that started it. But once it transitioned to Facebook, it was a wrap. Yeah. And then once you start getting these other social media sites, it it made things look God, different. Dreams. So it's so hard the dream. For, yeah, it, it's, it's hard all for about people to, to trust certain things or people or anything, a job. So mm -hmm. so when we say we, we learn from our experience, could that also be? Because I'm listening to what you're saying. Do you feel like the um, Do you feel like it was because we had less technology when we was younger? So like when I was younger, mm -hmm. we made phone calls and if you told somebody, I'm gonna meet you across the street, you better meet them there. Like yeah. there was no other way when she made yeah. a phone call, that was that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That so, got a lot to do with it. So it was like some stuff that we did when we was little, just naturally, cause it was the way of life. Mm -hmm. You was forced to trust people naturally mm -hmm. and then you would lose the trust yeah but now we're at a place to where you have to gain trust yeah mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying because you're already sold the dream this is the image i want you to believe but it's up to you like it once you get to know me is what you what you actually find out about me so it's just like yeah you already you already because it's like when we was little like my word was my bond, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We ain't run around with cell phones and all of that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if it was a problem in school, like, I meet you after school, you just best believe, motherfucker, I'm gonna come see you after school, like... <laughs> like That's how that went. Like, it didn't matter, I'm gonna meet you at the park, y'all be out at the park. We ain't had no choice, like, if they ain't show up, it was a whole nother headache process. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was there, why you gonna be there? See, it's just... And then also you got like that easily, that easy access. There's no, you don't have to, like you just think of something when it comes to the spot. So it's just kind of like, you don't have to trust anybody to like be able to come through for you or da 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 Because if you don't have like one person, you have that easy access to, get to another person, you know? Yeah. So it's just like, fuck it, don't even worry about it. Like type of situation, like it's a, it's a, What's crazy is that's kind of almost how it should be just in a more trustworthy situation in a community. Yeah, that's... You know what I'm saying? Where one person don't have it or can't do it. 
But it should be them explaining to you, not just ducking you and peeling out on you, you know what I'm saying? At least letting you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Opposed from just doing it that way. So, on that note, we're about to slide on this break. We're going to get back to you in a couple minutes. So, we back from the break. Um, so, we was just discussing trust just now. So, um, we're going to kind of carry that subject over a little bit into loyalty. So, oh. I want to ask, Chaz, how do you feel about loyalty? And um, if you think that correlates to trust, our first subject. Mm, that's a good one. All right. I don't know. Like, I feel like... I feel like they, they play into each other because if I don't trust you, I'm not going to follow you and what you do. You know what I mean? So it's like, if I don't trust you, we can't be friends. And that's how, that's how I feel it. And so it's just kind of like... But lo loyalty is is different though. Like, okay, all right, all right. I gotta think about this one, cause it is a little different. No, it definitely is. So, cause it's just like we get okay. I can be loyal to you, and you know, like we not see eye to eye, but that doesn't mean I never trust you again. You know, like cause it's oh no. I'm thinking I ain't gonna be able to because now I'm talking with my hands. So <laughs> women. <laughs> women. Fuck out of here with you go. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Look. <laughs> Cause it's just like, alright. Cause it's like, alright, so listen. Cause then loyalty has different that has different ranks too. So it's just like it's two completely different things. Cause it's just like I can be I can be loyal to. All right, so let's just take relationships. Cause when you think loyalty, you immediately go to relationships, right? Kind. Exactly. <laughs> kind. Yes. So okay. So it's just like if if I feel like you not. All right. Okay. If we together. And you know I'm loyal to you. You know I'm going to follow you. Whatever. You feel the same about me. But then, in my eyes, you break that. Like, that doesn't mean that I still don't trust you with certain things. You know what I mean? Like, especially depending on the relationship that we had. If you always came through for me, then you always came through for me. But, like just saying like it's just like it's it's like different like it's not like i'm never gonna like i'm never probably gonna trust you to be like so, monogamous you know what i mean like that's probably broken but when it comes to other things that i can trust you like if we got a child together i'm gonna trust you with my child so do like you, do, so do you feel like loyalty comes more down to your belief system absolutely so like when i was listening that's what i was kind of thinking like because it's just like it, it's it's all about it's all about your level like so like even a stranger so like if i don't know you and i see you doing something that the system so you're not supposed to be doing my belief system is i don't trust or fuck with the system so even if what you're doing as long as you ain't hurting no kids and shit like I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to mind my motherfucking business. I'm going to let you do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I have my own belief systems that I believe in that I stay loyal to. So it okay. has nothing to do with the actual physical person, but just, you know what I'm saying? Just that action at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. How would you define loyalty? <sighs> I just realized it's locked for purple. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Look. I <laughs> know, <laughs> for real. Define loyalty. I, I kind of feel like it do got to deal with trust. It do. Because I got to be able to trust you on a certain level to have a certain loyalty with you. And it's, I don't know, it's hard to just, just 
Scrab loyalty, yo, cause See, but then to a certain extent, it's kind of like if you only think of loyalty and you think of relationship first, then you kind of minimize it. No, I'm yeah. trying to put so, it so, in. So, so when I so, say... So, alright, for example, um, even though I can't do what I want to do right now as to get back into making beats, but I'm loyal to staying focused on what I need to do. Like, I have loyalty and make sure I need to do get shit, do what I need to do to make sure I have uh, all my shit once I'm situated. So, it, it's... Loyalty can go different ways. Yep. <laughs> See? I, but if we talking about, like, that ride and die loyalty See, but that's, but that's, like, but that's... But that's... When, when, when we say the ride or die, so then that would be more on a spiritual level, though. Because exactly. It, because mm -hmm. then it's like... If, every, if, if we trying to get a movement, Kind of like what's going on right now. Yeah. Brown people trying to get a movement. Everybody trying to figure out how to organize. We all thinking and saying that people in videos, hosting speeches, doing all this shit, trying to figure this shit out. Haven't done it yet. But if all these people that's thinking like mine, they all meet up in one location, they all going to be loyal to what they believe in and they all believe in the same thing. So they're all going to be loyal to each other. Mm. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So then it's like what I was saying earlier about starting the communities. Like, if people was all thinking like-minded, that was more spiritually grounded, that was yeah. on that higher frequency. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would be a different idea. So, but that's just my perspective. Like, when I, when I think of stuff, I try to think broader than what's given to me. And what's given to me is the opposite sex relationships. It's all over the TV, it's all over the news, it's all over social media. So this is why sometimes I feel like when we think of certain things, that's the first thing we go to, which is either sex, the opposite gender, some people mm. same gender, um, you know what I'm saying? But we go straight into those kinds of relationships. It's straight to that relationship and friendship, just those two. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's what we're here for, you know what I'm saying? Just to kind of put up in some some open thought, you know what I'm saying? If your box is over here, maybe we can help expand it open a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Um, as, as far as like, on a, on a bigger, on a, on a big scale as far as like, cause I didn't say nothing about it and neither one of y'all mentioned it, as far as like, how would we, to find loyalty it within our families. Mm. Define family. <laughs> <laughs> Fa family defined by the system is your bloodline. Oh. Okay. I but would. defining family, you know, for us on this channel is just, you know what I'm saying, the people that's close to you that you feel is your family. family. Okay. Uh, for one, Define family, loyalty, family. Ones that that's always been there, dependable, whether you've been in a fucked up situation or not. Um, once again, trust is in there because you gotta trust them. You got, I don't know, because then you got friends that's not family. Mm -hmm. But they are your family. Like, I got friends that's family. And, like, I don't call them friends that, that's family. That, like, we have a bond, a choice, a loyalty where it's bigger than just, a, like, a regular friendship. Yeah. So what makes y'all bond, y'all loyalty so strong? Uh, just never turning our backs on each other. Just always there when somebody, like, if we need each other, we might not talk for months, but yeah. when we see each other, we already know what it is. It's talk time, stop time, all that, like, yeah. um,
How would you define it? Family and loyalty. My family is connection. Like when, like the people that I surround myself with, they're they're normally like super intuitive. You know, like it's like we're all in a journey where we're, you know, always trying to elevate, trying to push each other. You know, encourage each other, love each other. So it's just like there's there's like a difference. So it's just like I'm. I know for a fact that they're loyal to me because it's just kind of like when you need something, I'm there. When I need something, you there. Like, and then even if like even if we do fall off, like you said, like we always we always gonna make that time. You know, like for me, it's, it's always making time for things that are important. So if I know for a fact that you're making time for me, then I'm gonna make time for you. You know, so it's like that means that we're you're wanting to connect, you're wanting to bond. You know, so that's how I'm feeling. Like that, like that's how my that my family is. Like we're all super close. You know, so it's just like, it's time to talk, it's time to talk, we're trying to chill, we're about to be together, all types of shit like that. So it's just kind of like, that, it's a difference, like, <laughs> so, cause you so, got, you got. So what are like some of the things that y'all like do to, to build your bond and continue to have your bond strong? Like I said, like make time for each other. Like, it's like, when you're, like when you're with us, uh, like around us, it's it's like it's always this this necessary connection. Like especially when when I got my whole team, and I mean my team, like I know for a fact is my family who have always been there. Like it's like you're gonna walk like walk into like this you know welcoming warm ass state. Like it's like it's it's literally a difference. So you always want to come back and you always want to connect and you always want to you know like be around us like it's like it's almost addictive uh, but it's not <laughs> it's not necessarily like to say like it's like super you know like yeah. we, don't, we don't put no hexes on you but it's just like <laughs> we, <laughs> we just really be vibing and really be connecting because that like it's it like family family means something to us when you're family you know, like we love you a whole different way. Like I, I learned love from the people that I was surrounding myself with, and like the depths of it is insane. Like I, I can't even, I can't even say like it, like it hasn't. Like I, yo, my people's on my rock. I can't even say nothing about it. Like and that's definitely loyalty. Like I'm, I'm riding mine. Like <laughs> you call me and Jasmine is right the fuck yeah. there. I don't, especially if you're my family. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would feel the same way, you know. So, some of my blood, I still would be loyal to them, and I feel like I would just be loyal to them just because they my blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> see them much, but I'm just being straightforward, you know. What I'm yeah. saying like. If something happened or if they was around and like a situation popped up, like I'm about to ride with my family. I don't give a fuck if I ain't seen you in twenty years, you know. It's other deeper reasons too why yeah. I got closer yeah. people that I stay loyal to, but we create our families, but our bloodline do have something to do with it. Yeah. Because we do get a little angry when we don't have certain relationships with family members, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. It yeah. don't have to be your mom or dad. It could just be all one of your cousins okay. that you was close to, you know what I'm saying? And one of your aunts and uncles that you used to rock with or pull up on all the time. So, yeah, it's a, uh, it can be very shallow or it can run deep. Yeah. Because just saying blood is not very deep at all. That's very shallow. That's like, same blood, like, cool. He ain't had no choice in it. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's such a straightforward <laughs> answer like I got a lot of family in New York I only got a couple siblings down here with me you know what I'm saying so I don't run into like cousins and aunts and uncles where I live at and that's been mm -hmm. that way since high school you know what I'm saying so when I was in New York I was always with my family you know what I'm saying whether I was with my, my big bro my big sis like my cousins and that shit so even though we don't stay in communication there's no, I still fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So on that note, we getting ready to wrap this thing up. We're going to let our special guest, Jazz, give some closing comments. 
And uh, for some of the people that don't know how to build these bonds and connections with their family, you know, maybe some ideas might be a little helpful for them since you have such a good bond with your family. Maybe you could give some ideas or some pointers or something that would be beneficial for them. Mm. Cool. Because it's just like everybody's, everybody be like, well, they don't call me, so I'm not going to call them type situation. Man, if they on your mind, they on your mind for a reason. Just pick the phone, call, text, yo, I love you, just checking in on you type situation. Because that's the type of shit that we do. Like, we always stay in communication with each other. And then make time for each other. It's like, if y'all, if you really missing this person, you're going to make your way to them. And that's just how that goes. Like, we all understand schedules get busy. We all understand people go through shit in life. But... After you come about your shit and you ready to communicate with some of your people's link with the people that mean something to you, you know, that are your family. You know, build that one. And let, me, <laughs> let the people know where they can find you at social medias. You oh, know what I'm saying? At a dash period of jazz, J A S, not Z. Hey. That's my Instagram, that's my Snapchat. That's all I got, so. <laughs> what? Well, I thought you was doing some makeup. Oh, I am. No, like, oh, you want me to talk about that? I didn't Let know. The people know. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I am a local MUSE artist. Okay. 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 Ok
shit Trap shaking like a monkey on that too short shit Your wife pressing on some full court shit Hit her with the crossover and then I throw that a Cause I ain't trying to keep your bitch This yeah, 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 yeah Come get Geechee Everybody is me Dope smoke and that blow And we got it all for the low But you can't shop if you five on <laughs> Wavy is a motherfucker, dog. <laughs> Look, man. These other uh, niggas is fabricating, bro. Yeah. They lying about every fucking thing they say, man. Everything, nigga. You feel me? Yeah. This the real right here. Come get Geechee, little bitch. Come get Geechee. Everybody eats B. Dope smoke and that blow. And we got it all. Only real niggas. 700 shit. Bitch.